A while back, when I was staying with my parents for a month, I showed you how to play Snakes and Ladders. But while there, I found another game that I grew up playing, and this one has a backstory to it. So come with me to the 90s. This is the intro to a show that I grew up with called McGee and Me. And the basic idea, besides having the coolest Rube Goldberg machine in the world to sharpen a stinking pencil, you've also got this kid. This kid is called Nick, and he is a cartoonist, but he's still growing up, he's still learning things, how to live right, and to help him out, he's got this little illustration that is called McGee. And uh, he's not just a little drawing that Nick came up with, he's a drawing that came to life. And they have little segments during the show where McGee acts out different things about the Bible stories that they're learning about, and just like the life lessons, and it was really, really cool. So of course, since I like the show, I really liked the board game. And the board game is just a souped up version of Snakes and Ladders. You've got the upward trail all the way up to the exalted end, and along the way you've got the red bricks, which are vices that send you backwards in your journey, down, 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 and the blue bricks, which send you upward, and those are associated, of course, with virtues. The main difference between this game, Sticky Situations and Snakes and Ladders, is the cards. You've got the True Riches cards and the Sticky Situation cards. You would pick up these cards when you landed on the corresponding spaces on the board. Whenever you landed on a True Riches space, you knew you were going to get something good. And the card has a little thing about the virtue that they're trying to teach you. And a little bonus. The more iffy spaces were the sticky situation spaces. Because it could end up good, or it could end up bad, depending on how you rolled. First, you would read the front of the card. Mrs. Johnson needs a babysitter for Friday night, and she asks you to do it. You are planning to do something else. So, what you do is you roll the dice. Once you've rolled it, you flip over the card and see what choice your character made. And, uh, looks like we did the right thing here, so we get to ride the nearest blue brick on our level. If we had rolled other things, it might not have come up with something as good. I always found this fun because there are a lot of funny choices that you can roll up. What can I say? I was easily amused as a child. So that's the game Sticky Situations. It's a fun twist on an old classic. And if you grew up watching McGee and me or even playing this game, let me know in the comments. And until next time, this is Hogwash, over and out. Catch you later.